In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update the firmware in your ICOM IC705, the latest HF, VHF, and UHF radio from ICOM. Uh, this is uh, important as it uh, keeps you up to date with the latest uh, updates, uh, features, and also any bugs or fixes that ICOM need to roll out to the radio. Uh, as of this video, the current version of firmware is 1.11. The radio has only just been released, but uh, going forward, the same process will be used for any future firmware updates and I'll put a link in the description uh, to the uh, latest firmware locations. So for this, uh, to update the firmware in your radio, you'll require a micro SD card. Uh, the IC705 uses a micro SD card to move the firmware from your PC uh, onto, the computer, uh, onto the radio. And uh, if you found this video helpful, please uh, give it a like, uh, a thumbs up, uh, please also subscribe to the Ham Radio DX channel if you haven't already done so. And also leave a comment, let me know how you got on with the firmware update and uh, what features you're looking forward to uh, in this radio. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do when updating the firmware is to make sure that your radio is connected to power. You can see here that I've connected to, to a 13.8 volt uh, power supply. I've also got the battery in the back of the radio and this is due to when we're updating the firmware, if the power happens to fail, then at least it's got the battery back up uh, so that the radio won't become corrupted. Uh, yeah, should we lose power? We've also inserted the micro SD card so you can see the little SD logo at the top of the radio there. So the first thing to do now is to go to menu and then set and then go to SD card. You'll see uh, in the list there, we've got uh, the third page. So just SD card. And we've got all these various settings that we can do in the SD card, which we'll ignore for now. And we want to scroll down to the bottom and click format. The, it'll say function is active uh, with the loggers and that format. Okay, click yes. And the SD card is now formatted. Of course, this will delete everything off of the SD card, so make sure you use a blank SD card before you go and do that. Okay, so now we have formatted the SD card. We want to unmount. It will ask us unmount okay, just hit yes. And we can now remove the SD card and plug it into our computer. Okay, so it's time to go and find the latest firmware. Now insert the SD card into your computer and you will find that it will open up under this PC. It will open up the SD card and there'll be an IC705 folder. And we've got all of these various other folders here. So just put that aside, make sure that that's working. We wanna to go to the ICOM Japan uh, website, so icomjapan.com forward slash support. I'll put the link again in the description below and scroll down to firmware slash software, click on that. And it'll ask for the model or, or uh, model or part number of the radio. So we wanna put in IC705, click search. And here's all of our different software that we've got for the IC705. You'll notice here we've got firmware version 1.11 and the last update, which was when it was released on the 28th of August, 2020. So we simply click on that and it will bring up some more detailed information. So we can see here version 1.11 has an Im has improved the accuracy of the battery status icon. Uh, it has added a red colored battery icon to remind the user to change the battery and fix an issue where the transceiver might freeze while powering off. And there's some further details uh, uh, that you can open up here, some release notes. So simply scroll down, click on the agree, tick box and click download. This will open up a dialog box. We simply save this to uh, somewhere. Uh, let's put, pop this on the, on the SD card. Okay. Now if we go back to the SD card and we go back to the root, we'll see that the file has now downloaded and it's in a zip format. So we want to right click and extract. Uh, you may, may look different on your PC. I use uh, WinRAR, but it should say extract files here or extract here. So we click that. 
And we can see now we have the 705E111, which refers to the firmware dot dat file. So simply now drag and drop that into the main IC705 folder, like so. And we're ready to plug the SD card back into the radio and do the firmware update. Now we just go to menu, set, SD card, scroll up to firmware update. Uh, this will now give you a disclaimer saying about the risks uh, associated with updating the firmware. Now it'll say, do you agree to all of the above? Uh, hit yes. Now, it will ask here, do you want to make a backup on the SD card of your settings? So it is very much advised that you do do this. So click yes, and that will save a file onto the SD card of all the settings in your radio. We'll say complete. Now we can see here the firmware update has listed 705E111, which was in our list of files. If this uh, is not present in here, just double check to make sure that you've got uh, that file in the right location. So we tap on the firmware. It will say it will take approximately two minutes. Now, before we do this, make sure that it is plugged into the power and the battery is inserted into the radio, just in case. It will say, do you want to start updating? Hold down the yes button for one second. It will then check the file. And it is now updating the main CPU and just wait for the timer to elapse. Okay, you can see version 1.11 down there in the corner and we have the latest firmware. It's as simple as that. Uh, click on menu, set, others, information, version, and we can see the list of all of the firmwares that are now currently loaded into the radio. So that's uh, all there is to it to update your ICOM IC705. Uh, please like uh, the video if this uh, was helpful. Please also subscribe to the Ham Radio DX channel and uh, thank you for watching.